When you're traveling, a terrific tool to get some resistance training in is the resistance band. Why I like it is because it's so lightweight and it's easily compactable, so it makes it very easy to put it into a purse, a bag, a suitcase, and it allows you to you know, transform virtually anywhere you're at into your own gym. You do have to be um, somewhat cautious though whenever using any piece of equipment, um, but in this one in particular you do want to give a good look over and make sure that there are no little tears in the, in the band and they haven't been maybe sitting outside on the deck absorbing a lot of UV rays. Otherwise the rubber can become a little brittle and you wouldn't want this to you know, snap back on you while you're doing the exercise. The other thing is, is you always want to make sure that it can be uh, secured uh, safely as well. Um, but other than that, this is a really great uh, tool to, to be able to use. I'm going to model a couple exercises that you can do with a uh, resistance band. The first is the bicep curl. And so what I want to do is I want to stand on the, uh, the, the resistance band, about hip to shoulder width apart. I'm going to pull the shoulder blades back so it's nice and tall. And then I'm simply going to flex at the elbow joint, squeeze, and then slowly let it down. Okay, and then you can just repeat that. Now, uh, if you want to progress this, maybe make it a little more challenging, add a balance component. You could use a single leg balance. You could do the exercise like that. You could also do the exercise unilaterally. And there you have the bicep uh, curl. The next exercise that I'd like to show you over here would be to secure the band around something uh, that's not going to move, like a heavy object. This could be a tree, a park bench. Some of these bands come with a canvas attachment system that will turn any door into, uh, has like a little bit of a loop so that you can thread the, the band through it and you can just bend a door. Also, the bands come in different sizes and thicknesses. So if you find that it's a little too light or a little too heavy, you might need to go down or up a band. Okay, this next one is going to be a chest fly. So I either have one foot in front of the other. So you could use a staggered stance. Or you could put both feet together, um, whatever your preference is. You're going to start with your arms fully extended. You're going to bring them in. You're going to squeeze. Now you've got to make sure you balance your weight forward so that the the resistance band doesn't pull you back, okay? And then I'm just going to repeat and do the fly. I can also do these unilaterally as well, and this increases the demand on the core. You can also change it to a chest press. 